friends and welcome to the manifestation destination. I realized that for my last vlog, I had accidentally forgotten to film that segment, so I apologize. So in order to make up for it, hello if you are new and I am so glad to have you guys back if you're returning. So today is May the 8th. It is maybe around 11 o'clock, I'm not for sure. I am going to be starting yet again another busy day. Um, I am pretty much just waiting for my mom, Mama DJ, to get back home to pick me up to go to CVS to pick up a prescription. Yes, it's the prescription that I have been waiting for for almost a week plus now. Um, my anxiety and depression medication. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna have to rush back to the shop because yet again, it's short-staffed, nothing new in terms of that. Um, but yeah, so it's just gonna be a busy day because we are short-staffed. It's supposed to be, I think, a pretty day, which always makes it harder for us because it's gonna get busier. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's just gonna be like a rush within a short amount of time. Um, and just to kind of add to things to, for whatever reason, one second. angle change. So for whatever reason, <laughs> I decided to not go to sleep last night. I ended up editing a video and that took me up until one, two o'clock in the morning. And then I proceeded to spend the next three hours so up until 5 a.m. to just watch YouTube videos and get in my feelings. So yet again, not bad feelings, but just feelings nonetheless. If you know me, <laughs> I feel everything all the time, no matter what. And last night was no exception. And for whatever reason, I just didn't want to sleep. So ended up going to bed at about 5.30 in the morning and I was woken up about 10 this morning. So I got five hours of sleep. So I'm not doing too terribly bad, but still doesn't feel good. Um, I'm actually surprised that I put on makeup and am vlogging today. Um, but I'm watching Lexi. So another thing that's going on today is it is my dad's birthday. Um, this weekend is kind of a big weekend here at the Jones household because today is my dad's birthday. Tomorrow's Lexi's birthday as well as Mother's Day. So the only one in the family that doesn't get celebrated this month is me. But technically, because it is Mother's Day, I did make Mama DJ a mom, so all eyes on me. So I don't know how much I'm actually gonna be able to get today. Um, probably not gonna be the perkiest either because I am tired, but watch this, watch this. Yep, that's what she does. What you doing? <laughs> She's so stinking cute. Anyway, she always gets on that carpet and will roll around whether it's rain or snow or just feeling frisky and we've always thought it was really cute. She's done that ever since she was just a wee babe. But yeah. So I am probably going to drink a coffee that I had. I wanted to go to Dunkin' this morning. Um, just because they have like the really large coffees and that's kind of the feeling that I'm in. <laughs> I'm in need of a really large coffee. Um, but that also makes me anxious, so. Anyway, I mean some thoughts in regards to the medicine that I'm going to be hopefully taking 
as soon as tomorrow. Um, definitely extremely nervous to try medication again because like I said, I have gone down this route before. Granted, it wasn't genetically approved for me. Um, <clears throat> So we didn't really know that there was going to be an adverse outcome for me when I was taking that previous medication, but because I have OCD and anxiety, taking medication period for me now has been difficult. And knowing that I'm taking anxiety and depression again, or anxiety and depression medication again, kind of amplifies that anxiety a little bit more because of what happened the last time. Even though it's a completely different situation, I know that, but yet again, always in the back of my head, there's always the question of what if. Um, and it just so happens that I'm worried or asking myself, what if it happens again? So we shall see how it goes i'm gonna pick that up hopefully my insurance will cover everything because quite frankly i don't want to have to pay for a whole lot <laughs> of nothing because i don't really want to pay for high cost of a prescription fee so we'll just see um quite frankly i just i don't want to pay it <laughs> um because i have other things to pay for but It'll be interesting to try to start the medication right now. I'm feeling a little bit brave and almost a little bit desperate. So I think I might be brave enough to try to take the medication starting as early as tomorrow. Still need to figure out like any potential side effects and um, any watches or concerns that I need to be aware of, but It'll be good just to at least have it in my possession and take it at my own will. So that's the plan for this morning. I will catch you guys later in the day and I'm going to try to make some interesting shots for you guys. That way you guys don't get bored with my vlogs because yet again, having literally the same day to day gets kind of hiring for everyone to watch if you're not living it and for the people living it too but anyway so I'm gonna let you guys go for now I will try to wake up a little bit more probably call mama DJ to see what's going on because I expected her to be here by now um, but yeah We are in the car again, headed out to get my medicated relief. Just got out of CVS to find out that it has to be approved through the insurance company before I can really pick up my prescription, which I kind of expected. Um, still frustrating. Learned that if I were to try to pay for the medication that was prescribed to me without insurance, it's going to be about $600. So you're doing great, America. Thanks. Hello. <laughs> Yet again, I'm outside, so I apologize. But this is pretty much the only time that I get to vlog is when I'm at the shop and when it's not too busy. So... I promise that I'll try to get some better footage in there today, hopefully, of me doing some stuff around the shop. I've already prepped stuff, so that's kind of done, but maybe I can get myself fixing some food or whatnot. But just wanted to come on again <laughs> and say that I am pretty darn disappointed about the medication, even though I know that I was already kind of nervous about it anyway. So not getting it, it's not the end of the world for me right now, but in the back of my head I know that that was like one step closer to getting just a little bit of relief, possibly if not now, at least down the road a little bit. So knowing that that's delayed by a couple more days until the insurance can approve it or the doctor's office approves it or however that process works um, until I can actually get that med, I'm still in the same boat that I was so 
slightly disappointed. I know that it's not the end of the world because I'm still going to end up getting it at some point. It's just going to be delayed. But yet again, I'm going to be miserable for a little bit longer. But that's okay. Relief is on its way. I just have to be patient. So I wanted to come on here too and just kind of explain that. <laughs> it was funny how it worked out. So driving to CVS, my mom and I were kind of talking and she actually reminded me that on the 10th, um, Brandon and I will have been talking for one year and that flabbergasts me, it excites me, um, and honestly, within the last couple of days, there has been huge strides in my mind um, that get me really excited, and yet again, like they're not huge mile markers. Technically, we're still not in a relationship yet, but I do have a timeline for that now, and I'm super excited about that. I have about one more date, he said, until we can become official. And he's also agreed to delete his dating profiles and I've agreed to delete mine. Um, even more exciting, we've kind of committed to each other that we're gonna try to make it work as best we can and do everything that we can to make it work because one of the things that has been bothering me is his graduation is coming up on the 13th this month and so I don't exactly know and I hadn't really known what after graduation would look like. Um, for me there was still concern because he's been on the job hunt for a, at least a month now without any real success or um, job offers so I know that he's still looking for that. I know that he's still going to be working at the job he's currently working, which he doesn't really enjoy a whole lot. And <laughs> um, just knowing, rather not knowing where I fit into that mix and where I will fall on his priority list has been a concern. And not knowing if him possibly moving, because he is looking at relocating a little bit farther of a distance yet so not knowing if his relocation would affect things you know has all been playing on my mind so knowing that we're gonna try to give it our best to make things work and just trying to get closer and trying to see each other more has definitely been exciting on my end. And I'm just looking forward to this next chapter because for the first time in a year, it feels like it's like right in front of me. And I am super stoked, super excited. And part of me not sleeping last night, I was watching YouTube videos and kind of getting in my feels a little bit, not necessarily in a bad way, but I think I've kind of hit that point <laughs> where I'm nervous about starting this relationship and I'm definitely not getting cold feet like I'm definitely going to continue doing what I'm doing and I'm gonna keep showing up for him and for myself in this relationship like I have no intentions of letting it go um, but I think it's starting to become real in the sense of me being nervous about how much I let him in. And I preface this whole thing with watching YouTube videos because last night I was actually watching Trisha Paytas's, I guess that's how you would say it, um, video as far as her taking down her picture she had with her and her ex Jason and how upset she was and I would be lying if I said that I didn't know how she felt um, 
having been in a relationship, even though it wasn't the best relationship, and I'm glad that I'm no longer in that relationship, I know what it feels like to, I guess, remove someone else from your life, and I don't know if I am ready for that feeling, if that feeling should ever arise again. So yet again, like it's simple things like if we end up taking pictures together, like am I actually going to want to keep those pictures or am I just going to try to avoid those pictures, have them and then not get attached to them? Like I don't know what that boundary is because I would love to say that if we do get in a relationship, like it's going to be long lasting and he's the real deal. but. Sometimes things happen and people grow apart and I am right now currently trying to figure out as best I can as to what level I want him in my life. And obviously if we are in a relationship, I'm going to get him as close to me as I can, but I think for the first time in this process, it's finally hit me that it's like this close and I don't want to get hurt again so it's me just trying to protect myself as much as I can and trying to not get too attached even though that's already too late but Just for the first time, I've realized that if things go sour again, I'm going to have to feel that hurt. And I think we can all say that we've experienced that hurt, or at least something like it, if not worse. And I know it doesn't feel good. I mean, I'm kind of curious, like, have you guys ever... I guess avoided situations or things like physical items that you knew that if something should happen like you're not going to want to deal with them like photos, gifts, that sort of thing. Like have you been to that point or am I the only one? That would be an interesting question because surely I can't be the only one that's kind of like oh, I don't want to deal with that stuff if we should have to break up because it's almost like that salt in the wound like you're already broken up and then you have to deal with like all of these reminders for the last time not about that but we'll see I mean obviously we're going to take step by step and maybe we aren't going to take pictures and maybe there will be no gifts like I don't know what type of boyfriend really he'll be obviously I've gotten really good signs this far but I might not have to worry about anything at all so we'll see you know and I think it's just me being nervous about starting a new relationship and not knowing exactly how it's gonna go but I will catch you guys later